Phoebe, Wikipedia article audio. Phoebe was a first-century Christian woman mentioned by the Apostle Paul in his Epistle to the Romans, verses 16 2 A notable woman in the Church of Sencri, she was trusted by Paul to deliver his letter to the Romans. In writing to the church that almost surely met in her home, Paul refers to her both as a deacon and as a helper or patron of many. This is the only place in the New Testament where a woman is specifically referred to with these two distinctions. Paul introduces Phoebe as his emissary to the church in Rome and, because they are not acquainted with her, Paul provides them with her credentials. Greek Terms for Her Titles Phoebe's exceptional character, noted by her status as a deacon and prostatus one who should be esteemed highly because of their work may be the reason Paul sent her to Rome where she delivered the letter to Rome. By referring to Phoebe as a prostatus, Paul solicits the attention and respect of the leaders in Rome's church, which also included other women, namely Prisca slash, Mary, Unia, and Trophina, Trophosa, and Persis. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon of the church in Sencri. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of his people and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been the benefactor of many people, including me. Diakonos Apostle Paul used the Greek diakonos to designate Phoebe as a deacon. A transliteration of the original Greek, it is the same word as used elsewhere by Paul to refer to deacons. The word deacon in Paul's writings sometimes refers to a Christian designated to serve with the overseers of the church, while it more often refers to servants in a general sense. In the letter to the Romans, Apart from the debated case of Phoebe, it always refers to servants in the generic sense, as opposed to a church office. Prostatus Apostle Paul used the Greek prostatus translated as benefactor in the NIV. The NAS New Testament Greek lexicon translates it. Overseer, Elder, Pastor some scholars believe Phoebe was responsible for delivering Paul's epistle to the Roman Christian Church. Likewise the women. While some scholars believe Paul restricted the office of deacon to men, others dispute that assertion. For example, when describing the qualities that the office holders called deacons must possess, Paul wrote in 1 Timothy 3.11 that the Gunaikas Hosayutos, translated likewise the women, they, likewise, are to be worthy of respect, not malicious talkers but temperate and trustworthy in everything. The likewise indicated that the women deacons were to have similar qualifications to the men deacons. Honorifics the Calendar of Saints of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America commemorates Phoebe with Lydia of Thyatira and Dorcas on January 27, the day after the commemoration of the early male missionaries Silas, Timothy, and Titus and two days after the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul. The Episcopal Church does likewise. However, the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod remembers her on October 25, while the Eastern Orthodox Church and Roman Catholic Church place her feast day as September 3.